Hey Filipinos and Philippine coin collectors, welcome to Phil and Sing Coin Channel. And what we have here is a bunch of buffalo coins. And of course the one at the top is the small buffalo and the Anoa mindarensis. And this buffalo is actually called a Tamara or a Minduro dwarf buffalo. And it comes right now from the island of Mindoro in the Philippines. Apparently it used to be on the island of Luzon, but they are relatively endangered and very cool animals. Now, the the Tamara weighs between four and six hundred pounds, which in contrast to the United States uh, buffalo, which is down here on the U.S. nickel, which weighs between uh, one and two plus thousand pounds, and they look uh, kind of significantly different. Their heads look different. Uh, their fur looks different. Um, and these are animals here, the Tamara, which it can thrive in, and survive in jungle environments and uh, have been found up to as high as 2,000 meters, which is something in some sense they share with the buffalo because some of the buffalo uh, pasture at seven to 10,000 feet or um, three to... Uh, you know, 4,000 meters sometimes, three three to 4,000 meters. Well, maybe not. Yeah, three to 4,000 meters at some point. So what's going on here? Well, what we're going to look at is the 1985s here. And we have three from 1985. And these all are Jose Rizal. And so you can see right underneath here, if we magnify it, it says, Jose Rizal, and these coins wear at much different rates per coin. So you can see the Jose Rizal is very, very clear there. The BSP um, insignia from the Banco Central Pilipinas here, and then of, down here. And then, of course, it says Republica non Pilipinas here. Um, Republica non Pilipinas, I believe, is how they've been trying to tell me to say it. And I just am just awful at pronouncing uh, Philippine words, but I'll keep working on it. So we've got three of them here, and these are the so-called large buffalo coins from 1985. In 1985, they made 183 million of these. They made just a huge amount. So these are not rare. They're not expensive. They're easy to find. In the U.S., they go for about one quarter of a dollar in the US. Now this coin wasn't always made in a large version so if I can get this to sit for a while I'll show you a version that's kind of in between the US Buffalo here and the large Tamara coin of the Philippines. And that is the small Tamara version which I'm going to pull out of this drawer and put right here and you'll see that the small Tamara, and this one here is another one peso coin. And this one, of course, is from 1994 when they went to the small one peso. Uh, again, same Jose Rizal, Republica Nung Filipinas on the front. This is a 1994, and you see that it's the same buffalo doing the same thing. Um, but it's a smaller coin and actually much closer in um, size to the American uh, nickel coin, a little bit thinner, but essentially the same height. So what are these coins made out of? Well, if we look at these, even the large and the small ones were both made out of the same materials, and that is a copper nickel coin. They weigh 9.5 grams. 29 millimeters in diameter and 1.9 millimeters in thickness. The Tamara or Mindoro buffalo or dwarf buffalo is only on these two coins. And in fact, they didn't make them many years. The big one, the large buffalo, they only made it between 1983 and 1990. And uh, then they went to the small buffalo in 1991. All right, I think that's all we have here today for our buffalo large and small coins from the Philippines with a little bit of 
a guest appearance by the American five cent or nickel buffalo coin. Have a great day, and we'd love to have you subscribe to our Phil and Sing Coin Channel.